Yo guys, so today we're going to be looking at every card in Raging Abyss. Obviously we don't have the prices for the English pre-sale cards, but we do have prices for the Japanese versions. I mean that's not going to be too uh, informative, but we are going to talk about the Ultimate Dragon of Pride. This card relates to the Magicians of Bonds and Unity cards, so these cards finally make sense. I want to make a market watch pertaining to these, and obviously this card pertains to Dragon of Pride and Soul. So without further ado, we're just going to get into it and we're going to look at all these cards and discuss what it's going to look like in the future. Alright guys, this is not going to be a short video. We are going to be covering, what is 131 cards? Ugh. Well, good thing we're going to have to look at the prices, we're just going to talk about the cards. So Ultimate Dragon of Pride and Soul. This card is actually okay. So it is 4,500 attack and 4,500 defense. Three monsters with 2,500 attack and defense, the original. So these are pretty much pertaining to these cards. Magicians of Bond and Unity. These cards have been coming out of every set, different rarities. I mean, not different rarities, just different arts in the back. And then obviously, Dragon of Pride and Soul. These are the cards that have 2,500 attack and 2,500 defense. Um, let me see, your opponent cannot target this Fusion Summon card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by their card effects. This Fusion Summon card gains 4,500 attack and defense when you have 24 or more cards in your graveyard once per turn. If your opponent has 25 or more cards in their graveyard, you can destroy all cards they control. So, this thing is potentially a 9,000 hitter and it can destroy all cards your opponent controls. Usually graveyards get big, but who knows? Uh, I'm not going to say this card is going to be crazy or anything, but... So in Japan, this thing is $460 and it's sold out. Obviously, Japanese QCRs reflect different prices than the American QCRs. I just feel like America things are so flooded. We're going to talk about the Scarlet Sorrow. This is the second most expensive QCR. Uh, Japanese QCR. These are all Japanese cards valued at USD. So don't get these prices confused with pre-sale prices of English cards. We're just looking at the effects of these cards so you could effectively know what to look for when the cards come out. This card's name is always treated as a Fiendsmith card. If this card is normal summon or special summon, you can send one Fiendsmith card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. During your opponent's turn, if this card is in your graveyard, quick effect, you can take one Fiendsmith link monster in your graveyard, shuffle that card into the deck, and you do special summon that monster. Well, you can take one Fiendsmith link monster in your graveyard, shuffle this card into the deck, and you do special summon, special summon that monster. So basically, this is a quick effect from the graveyard, put her back in the deck, and then you can special summon one fiend smith link monster from your graveyard sheesh okay let's get out of these now right, we got the water charmer we got the centurion primarina primera we got another blue eyes card red eyes black full metal dragon is here and then we also got dominus impulse which is ironic because it's 40 usd for the qcr in japan and I need to check my phone one second. Someone called me for some reason. All right, guys, I apologize. I received a phone call. It wasn't too important. All right, guys, Area of the Water Channeler, QCR. This is a level 5 monster, by the way. This card is always treated as a Charmer card. You can discard this card and one other water monster. Add one water monster from your deck to your hand with a level equal or higher to... A legal, an level equal to or higher than the original discarded monsters. Also, you cannot activate non-water monster effects for the rest of this term. When your water monster is destroyed by battle, you can special this card from your hand. You can only use each effect of this creature once per turn. This is kind of like a, a weird title, and also this is coming out perfectly for Mermels and Atlanteans. So, um, Centurion Primera Primas. One tuner, one or more non tuners. It's a spellcaster, it's level 8. This special summon card cannot be destroyed by battle unless it was. This special summon card cannot be destroyed by battle unless it was summoned from the extra deck. Wait, what? Okay. You can only use each of the following effects of Centurion once per turn. If this card is synchro summon, you can add one Embla card from your deck or graveyard to your hand, then destroy one card you control and one card your opponent controls. If the face of Centurion cards you control leaves a field by opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card from a graveyard. Okay, it's not bad. It's a little searcher. Um, and it's a pop. Blue Eyes of the Heart. 
Level 8. Um, this card is always treated as a Millennium card. Okay. You can discard this card. Add one Millennium Onk from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Blue Eyes of the Heart once per turn. Possession of this card cannot switch. If your opponent normal summons or special summons a monster who is level 8 or higher and or with 3,000 or more attack while this card is in your graveyard, you can send that monster to the graveyard and if you do special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Blue Eyes Heart once per duel, only, af only after you activate Millennium Onk. So you have to activate Millennium Onk for this effect to go off. Man, this is a crazy card, yo. Also, the link to like the list in this website is going to be in the description so y'all can look for yourselves. Red Eyes Black Full Metal Dragon, QCR. Uh, cannot be normal summoned set, must be special summoned. With enhanced metamorph activated by tributing a level 5 or higher dragon monster. You can only use each of the following effects of Red Eyes Black Full Metal Dragon once per turn. It's a big name. You can reveal this card in your hand, several metamorph trap directly from your deck. And if you do shuffle this card into your deck, when your opponent activates a card effect, card or effect, a card or effect, quick effect, you can negate the activation. Then you can inflict damage to them equal to half of one of their attack position monsters original attack so it's an omni negate it's a burn and it's also you can reveal this card and set one metamorph and then put this card back in your deck okay a uh, dominus impulse if your opponent controls a card you can activate this card from your hand when a card or effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monsters Negate. Wait, what? If your opponent controls the card, and you and you can activate this card from your hand. Okay. When a card or effect is activated, that includes an effect that special summons a monster. Negate the effect. Then, if you have a trap in your graveyard, destroy that card. If you activate this card from your hand, you cannot activate effects of light, earth, and wind monsters for the rest of this duel. You can only activate one dominus impulse one per turn. Light, earth, and wind. Now that's crazy. I, I'm guessing the dark decks are finally gonna start using this. Um, sheesh. All right, let's get out of that. Hand traps are getting crazy, right? So here's the Azamina cards. These are going to be the new ones. And then the Scarlet Sorrow for the regular version is going to be 30 bucks. And another Azamina here. I actually love the art of these cards. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, man. There's that Mermel right there. That's the new Atlantean. Alright guys, let's get down to it. So this is a level 6. Uh, it's an illusion monster. One illusion monster and one light spellcaster monster. Is this like white wood support? Any battle damage to your Azamina monsters other than Azamina, Silvera, inflict to your opponent is doubled. Any battle damage your... Okay, your monsters inflict double damage. You can only use each of the following effects of Azamina once per turn. When your opponent activates a card effect, quick effect, you can tribute this card and negate that effect. If this card is destroyed by a battle card effect, you can add one simple spoilers trap from your deck to your hand. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can tribute this card. Negate that effect. So it's a I'm gonna negate tribute. Okay. Uh I can't even guys, can y'all even pronounce this? We have another illusion monster. One illusion monster, one light spellcaster monster. Guys, are these not white wood support? Monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense for each Azamina monster you control. You can only use each of the following effects of Azamina once per turn. If this card is fusion summon, you can add one Azamina or simple spoils card from your deck to your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one simple spoils from your deck to your hand. Okay. Another Azamina. Uh, this is an another illusion monster. One illusion monster and one level 6 or higher fiend monster. You're going to target one illusion monster in your graveyard, special summon it. When a simple spoils Azamina card's effect is activated, quick effect, you can target up to two cards on the field, destroy them. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, number C32, Shark Drake Leviathan. This is the QCR, by the way. Um, four level five monsters. Okay. You can also XY summon, you can also XYZ summon this card by discarding one spell and using one rank four shark drake xyz monster you control transfer materials to this card once per turn 
So this card is kind of like Beatrice where you could discard a card and overlay her over Dante. Once per turn, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card. Detach, detach one material from this card and target one effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects. And if you do, change the attack and defense to zero. This card can make an, a second attack during the battle phase. Also, the attack percentage monster and inflict piercing battle damage. So it's a double swinger and it makes a monster zero. It's kind of like a Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Okay, Abyss Shrine, Abyss Shine, Shrine, the Atlantean Spirit. This card is always treated as a Mermail card. So it's an Atlantean Mermail. You contribute this card from your hand, and when Atlantean or Mermail monster from your hand or field, take one level seven fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from your deck, and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except water monsters. Then your opponent's turn quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard and discard one card to the graveyard, draw one card. You can only use this effect. So basically, this graveyard effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard and discard one card, draw one card. This basically lets you discard an Atlantean and it lets you activate the Atlantean effect, like Atlantean heavy infantry, the marksman. Um, yeah, so basically, you could trigger your Atlantean effects on your opponent's turn plus a draw card. They're making a lot of cards where you could banish this card from your graveyard, you know what I mean? Like, like cards don't do enough unless they banish from the graveyard and do something. Alright guys, we got a lot of cards to go through guys. I appreciate everyone for watching to the end. So we got these new Primordial cards. The new 6 Samurai support comes out in Raging Abyss. We already talked about Shark Drake, um, so we don't have to go over that. We already talked about Primarina, we don't have to talk about that. We don't have to talk about any of these cards. Um, we are going to talk about the Mermail Link Monster. We also have a uh, new support. It's like Cyber Dragon support. It's like ABC support. We're going to check that out too. All right. I don't even know. It's a Primordial Imperial Ode. I didn't think I was going to be able to pronounce that. It's a continuous spell. Normal monsters and Primordial monsters you control gain 300 attack for each monster in your game. Each normal monster in your game with different names. Okay, that's not bad. You can only use each of the following effects of Primordial. Imperial Ode once per turn. When this card resolves, add one Primordial card from your deck to your hand. Okay, it replaces itself. You can declare one normal monster's name. Special summon one monster with that name from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Also, you can activate special monster's effects for the rest of this turn. You can declare one normal monster's name. Special summon one normal monster with that name from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can't activate special summon monster's effects, but if you're just spamming normal monsters, I mean... I mean, this is pretty good blue eyes support. You just say blue eyes white dragon, and you just summon one from your deck. This card lets you you play it, you add one, and then you call blue eyes, and you special summon blue eyes or dark magician, whatever you want it to be. That's pretty good. This is actually a really good card. Uh, Imperial dragon, the primordial dragon, one cry. Okay. Requires one normal monster, tribute to normal summon. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can reveal this card in your hand. Immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one primordial monster. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. If this card is tribute summon, you can apply the effects in sequence. Now gate the effects off face of monster your opponent controls, banish all monsters your opponent controls with the same type and attribute as any of the normal monsters in your graveyard. What? During your opponent's main phase, quick effect. That's really good. Sheesh. So we get the new six samurai. We don't even have an effect on this thing. Um, that's a real shame. Uh, the Atlantean dragon deity, three level sevens. Once per turn, you can also X Y Z in this card. X Y Z summon this card. By using one Atlantean or Mermail XYZ monster you control, transfer its materials to this card. Once per turn, you can detach two materials from this card. Similar water monster from your hand, deck or graveyard, return up to three cards your opponent controls to the hand. If this XYZ summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can discard one card, special summon three level three, level three or lower fish, sea serpent, and or aqua monster from your hand or graveyard. Sheesh. Yeah, that's a good card. Then the QCR is only $10. Okay. Forger of the Dawn. Okay, attack zero, defense 28. If this card is fusion summoned, you can activate this effect. During the standby phase of the turn of the next, during that, during the standby phase of the next turn, add one card from your graveyard to your hand. 
wouldn't affect their fusion summons. Okay. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card, a spell or trap card or effect, quick effect, you can banish one face up light machine monster you control or two light machine monsters from your graveyard and negate the activation. You can only use each effect once per turn. So this is like omni negating. It only takes two light machine monsters. I'm trying to make ABC good again. Obviously, this works in Cyber Dragon. All right, all right, we're pushing through. We already went over this card. So that's Metal Zoa, Surfacing Big Jaws. We already went over this card. Another Leviathan. Okay. Battle Wasp Support. We already went over this card. We went over that. We went over that. Yes, we're going through cards. Guys, we would have been here all day. Let me see. Do we have the effect on this boy? We don't have the effect on that. All right, guys. So this is the Sheen right here. Sheen Legendary, Six Samurai. Let's see what we got. Materials, one Warrior Tuner, one Non-Tuner, Six Samurai Monster. It has to be a Six Samurai. You can only use the first effects of this card, card's name once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can add one Six Samurai Monster or Sheen Monster, effect monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, okay. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can negate the activation if you do destroy that monster. If this card in the field will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one other monster you control instead. So yeah, that's the Sheehan. Let me see. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of that. We're over that. Battle Wasp. The QCR is 8 bucks. One tuner and one non-tuner monster. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Insect Synchro Monster you control gain 200 attack and defense for each of your banished. Insect Monsters. If this card is banished, you can special summon it. Okay. Then you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of your banished insect monsters and inflict family to your opponent for each card destroyed with this card effect. That's actually not that bad. That is actually not that bad. Uh, Levier, tr Levier 2 Dragon. If this card is special summoned, you can add one Virtue Stream from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one of these effects once. Okay. Detach one material from your monster. Then what, then add one fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from your graveyard to your hand. Target two XYZ monsters on the field, detach one material from one of them, and attach it to the other as material. Okay, that's okay. Surfacing big jaws. If this card is used for an XYZ summon of a water monster, it can be treated as it can be treated as three level five monsters. Wait, what? If this card is Whoa, that's crazy. Be treated as three level five monsters. You can only activate each of the following effects of surfacing big jaw during your main phase. If a spell card was activated this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. For the rest of this turn, except XYZ monster. If this card is no special specimens, you can add one fish shark. You can add one fish shark monster from your deck to your hand. It's not a bad card. During your main phase of the spell card is activated, you can special summon this card from your hand. Dang. Okay, Metal Zoa. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned with enhanced metal morph activated by tributing a level 5 or higher fiend monster. It's going to be pretty easy with fiend smith running around. You can reveal this card in your hand. Set one metal morph trap directly from your deck. And if you do shuffle this card from your deck, okay, so you have access to metal morph at any time with this deck. You can only use this effective metal zoa once per turn, up to twice per turn. When your opponent activates a spell or effect or a monster effect, quick effect, you can target one face of monster they control, destroy it. Okay, it's not bad. Let's see. Oh, so these are the unlimiteds. Okay. Oh, smokes. Why is this card four bucks? Uh, it's a rare in Japan. See, this card is four dollars in Japan. It's a rare. It's gonna come. It's gonna be a secret rare in America, and it's gonna be like fifty to sixty dollars. Wow, guys! So this isn't the whole Raging Abyss set. This is just some of them. Let's see. Look at that Dustin-looking card. Fiendsmith, a new Fiendsmith Link monster. Puppet Shark style. Wasn't that in Naruto? Oh, the new Morganite. This card is actually pretty good. Okay. 
My bad. We still got some work to do. Moch Army. I can't even pronounce that. If you control no cards, quick effect. You discard this card. Apply this. Play these effects this turn. Each time your opponent normal summon normal or special summons a monster from the deck or extra deck, immediately draw one card. Each time you put a normal or special summons a monster from the deck or extra deck, immediately draw a card. How how are you gonna? How are you gonna normal summon from the deck or normal summon from the extra deck? I'm not too sure about that just yet, but you do draw from the special summon once during the end phase. The number of cards in your hand is plus six. You must randomly shuffle all of them. You must randomly shuffle cards from your hand into your deck to the number in your hand is equals to your opponent controls plus six. Can only activate one other Mulch Army monster this turn. So when you discard this card plus the other Mulch Army Perilia, you pretty much have a maxi. That's pretty cool. Love the artwork. Uh, look at those little ghosts. That's cool. Uh, firework celebration. We don't even have an effect on it. Token Alliance. Place one resonance counter on one card in your pendulum zone that you can place a resonance counter on. Then apply one of these effects. Gain 500 life points, then add one of your banished Volmanica cards to your hand, except Volmanica. Okay, take five da take 500 damage, and you can add one Volmanica card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so this is new Volmanica support. That's a strange card. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the right card. There's no way that's the right card. The new Fiendsmith Link Monster. Two monsters including a Light Fiend Monster. Two plus monsters. It's a Link 3. Once per turn, quick effect. You can target one non-Link Light Fiend Monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. And if you do, equip this card you control to it as an equip spell with these effects. The equip the monster against attack equal to the Link ratings of the Link Monsters equipped to it times 600. Okay. If the equipped monster attacks, position your monster inflict piercing battle damage on your opponent. So now you could even pierce on your opponent. Puppet Shark style. Detach one material from from a monster on the field, and if you do, excavate the top four cards of your deck. Choose one of them, and apply this effect based on its type, and place the rest on top of your deck in order. Monster spell added to your hand. Monster slash spell added to your hand. Trap set it. It can only be activated this turn. Wait, what? Detach one XYZ material from a monster on the field. Wow, this is pretty good. I've been trying to make trap tricks good again. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a trap tricks market watch. I mean, not a market watch, a deck profile soon for y'all guys. It's not gonna be the most meta thing in the world, but it is gonna be something worth noting. Did anyone important message me? Nothing too crazy right now. Uh, this Morganite, dude. This is also gonna be cool for trap tricks too. Apply one of these effects. Apply these effects for the rest of the duel. You cannot activate monster effects in the hand. Each of your monsters can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase, which is not too bad. If, you're, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts your opponent is doubled. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Morganite card from your deck to your hand, then place one card from your hand at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this card is not that bad. Sinful Spoils, okay. Flying Mary. Neptibus Link Monster. The Legendary Six Samurai. That's that. Dragon, there's another Azamina Fusion. Sheesh, we got a lot to look at. Okay, Continuous Spell. You contribute one of one monster from your hand or field. Add one Azamina card from your deck to your hand. If a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard and you control an Azamina monster, your opponent loses 1500 life points. And if you do gain 1500 life points during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there from the face of Spell Trap Zone, you can set it. You can only use each effect of Sinful Spoils Deception once per turn. It's not bad. I mean, that's a big burn. And plus, you gain 13. I mean, gain 15. That's going to be good in time. Flying Mary. Two zombie monsters. You can target one level 5 or higher zombie monster in your graveyard or banishment. Place this card face up in your Spell and Trap Zone as a continuous spell. And if you do special summon that monster, if this card is a continuous spell, you can target one level fire design monster you control, destroy one monster your opponent controls with attack equal or lower 
to the attack. This card is actually not bad for zombies. We're waiting for new zombie support. We're going to be waiting. So this is a link three. Two plus monsters including fish, sea serpent, or aqua monsters. Your opponent cannot target monsters. Your opponent cannot target water monsters. This card points to with card effects. You can only use each of the following effects of Nuptibus Royal Mermail once per turn. If a monsters, if a water monster is sent to the graveyard to activate a card effect, you can take one abyss equipped spell from your deck or graveyard, either add it to your hand or equip it to this card. If this card is destroyed by your opponent's card, you can add one Atlantean or Mermail mo monster from your deck to your hand. So this is going to add that equipped spell, that one that negates the first spell your opponent activates. So yeah, this card is okay, it's not bad. Uh, the legendary uh, six samurai Initi. one tuner and one non tuner monsters. So this is a generic one. One warrior tuner. Warrior monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense during the battle phase only. You can only use each of the following effects of legendary six samurai once per turn. If this card is single summon, you can banish any number of six samurai monsters from your graveyard. Then target that many monsters your opponent controls. Return them to the hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can switch them one of your banished six samurai monsters. It's not bad. Uh, Protostar Dragon of the Void, one light or dark dragon monster, plus one dragon monster. If this card is Fusion Summon, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of light and dark monsters used as material. Destroy them. If this card is banished, you can target one level four or lower dark dragon monster you control. Its level becomes level eight. I thought it was a special summon one from the graveyard. Um, I mean, not bad. Not amazing, though. Azamina, Soul, one Illusion monster, one Fiend monster. If this card is Fusion Summon, you can target one card on the field, send it to the graveyard. During during each standby phase, you can target one Azamina or Sinful Spoils card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Alright. We're going to look at this card because we haven't talked about it. Wow, there's a lot of strange stuff. Uh, new Centurion card. Uh, Goblin Bikers, Chaotic Allure Queen, Battle Wasp, Metal Copycat. Alright guys, New B. If you have a monster with zero attack and defense in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only, use you can only special summon New B once per turn this way. If this card is special from your hand, you can apply these effects. Add one light insect monster from your graveyard to your hand. Place one trap from your tra place one trap from your graveyard or banishment on the top or bottom of your deck. You can only activate this effect newbie once per turn. Monster you can your opponent controls with 500 attack. So I mean this could be okay in sprite. I mean just a spam too. Transient Titan of Tartarus. Oh we got a we got zombie support. If this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, send as many cards you control as possible to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card, then send cards your opponent controls to the graveyard up to the number of cards sent to the graveyard by this effect. Neither player can activate monster effect in response to this effect activation. If this card is sent to the graveyard, except from the deck, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, send one card on the field to the graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn, only once that turn. That's a strange looking card. Look at the art on that. That looks like a card from Dead Space. Uh, Centurion Camellia? Let me see. When your opponent activates a monster effect, when an opponent activates a monster effect as a chain link two or higher quick effect, you can make that effect become your opponent places one centurion monster from their face up field or graveyard face up in the spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. Also, your opponent cannot special summon centurion Camilla for the rest of this turn. During the main phase, if this card is a continuous trap, you can special summon it. You can only use each of the following effects. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Um, Goblin Bikers, if your opponent controls no monsters, or all monsters you control are Goblin Monsters, you can normal summon this card without attributing. You can only use the following effects of this once per turn. If this card normal summons, you can special summon one level 4 Goblin Monster from your deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field, attach it to a Goblin XYZ monster you control. It's not bad. It's a, it's a tutor. You, you play it, and then you play another one from your deck. You can discard one other light or dark monster. Special summon this card from your hand. You could target one monster in either graveyard, equip it to this card. If you do, this card name becomes that monster's until the end phase. Then if it's a light or dark monster, dark monster card, you can special summon one dark allure queen monster from your deck or graveyard. You can only use each of the effect. Wow. Wow. 
That's pretty good. You can discard one other light special in this card from your hand. So you can discard it special in the hand, then you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, equipped it to it. And then if you do, if it's a light or dark, you can special a Lord Queen from your deck or graveyard. That's pretty cool, and the art is pretty dope. Battle Wasp. If you control no face up monsters other than insect monsters, you can discard one. One other insect monster, place one Battle Wasp win from your deck face up in your spelling trap zone, then special summon this card from your hand. Also, you can have special summon from your extra deck for the rest of this turn, except insect monsters. You can banish this card from your graveyard, reduce the level of one insect monster you control by one. You can only use each of the following effects of Battle Wasp once per turn. Someone's gonna make insects good again. Alright, guys, we're down to the last stretch of cards, maybe like 40, like about 50 more cards to go. Um, this card is always treated as an XYZ armored, an armored XYZ. You can send one water monster from your extra deck to your graveyard, then target one fish monster in your graveyard with a level equal to the sent monster's rank. Special summon it. Okay. Then your opponent's turn. If this card is in your graveyard, quick effect. You can target one XYZ monster you control. Equip this card as an equip card and give it 500 attack. A lot of graveyard effects coming out in this set. Let me see. Drake Shark. R. If this card is added to your hand, except by drawing it, you can special summon it. Have you noticed like a lot of cards have that theme now? Pop large and Roku. This card is this card can be treated as two materials for XYZ summon of a water monster that uses three or more materials. You can only use each of the previous effects of Drake Shark once per turn. A shark a shark Drake XYZ monster that has this card is material gains this effect. Once per turn you can detach two materials from this card, then target one spell trap card in the field. Attach it to this card as material. Okay, that's not bad. Vol Monica, when your opponent monster declares an attack, special summon one illusion monster from your hand or graveyard. Okay, and if you do return the attacking monster to the hand, if a face of illusion monster you control leaves the field, by opponent's card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, etc. During damage up, you can banish this card, special summon illusion monster from your hand or graveyard. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a counter trap. That's interesting. We haven't seen any. New, we haven't seen many new counter traps. Um, bleached Wisteria. Special summon this card as a normal monster, plant, dark, level four, attack, six hundred attack. This card is also a trap. Then if you control a Ragnar. Ragnarka monster, link monster, you can banish up to two cards from your opponent's graveyard during the end phase. If this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle two insect plant or reptile monsters from your graveyard and banish it. And if you do set this card, you can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. That's not bad. Can this be someone that was Silhouette Rabbit? Is that why Silhouette Rabbit's going up? Primordial Opener. Declare one normal monster's name, apply this effect. Then if you control no monsters, you can special one normal monster from Monster with a declared name from your deck or graveyard. Once applied, you take no battle damage from battles involving your normal monsters with a declared name. Well, and primordial monsters. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one normal monster you control, or in the graveyard, take control of one monster your opponent controls with higher attack. Okay, that's pretty good. Goblin Biker Grand Kaisers. You can target one goblin monster from your you control and one monster your opponent controls or one goblin monster in your graveyard and one monster your opponent's graveyard. Banish both. You can send this face of a card from your from your spelling trap zone to the graveyard. Then target five of your banished goblin monsters with different names, special summon them. That's pretty good. Wow. Uh, metal copycat. This card's level is increased by four during your opponent's turn only. You can only use each of the following effects of Metal Copycat once per turn. If this card is normal summon a special summon, you can set one Metamorph trap directly from your deck. And if you have Enhanced Metamorph in your graveyard, you can draw one card. Then if you have Enhanced Dang, so you can set a Metamorph and draw one card. You can declare one monster type. This card becomes that type until the end, the end of your opponent's turn. So yeah, you could change types, and then you can distribute him for Metamorph. And you pretty much have a free metamorph. Okay. Alright, we're down to the final cards. We got this one. This one. We got some more metamorph. That's enhanced metamorph right there. XYZ. Oh, we went back on a second. Let me see. Q. 
Okay. We have no effect on this one. Simple spoils offenders. Azamina. Reveal one Azamina fusion monster from your extra deck and shuffle one simple spoils cards from your from your graveyard and or banishment into the deck. For every four levels it has, then special summon the revealed monster. This is treated as a fusion summon. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one simple spoil spell and trap in your graveyard. Set it, but it cannot be activated the turn. You can only use one effect of this card per turn and only once that turn. Wow, this is like a fusion from the extra deck, but you use you could use sinful spoils cards. And each sinful spoils counts as a level four. Time engine. This card is always treated as a metamorph card. Okay, so you can set this off the card we just looked up. If a monster you control is destroyed by a battle or opponent's card, target one of them, special it. Then if it's a level five or higher machine monster and you have no if you have another metamorph trap card on the field or in your graveyard. You can destroy as many monsters your opponent controls as possible and inflict damage to them equal to the summoned monster's original attack. Okay. Enhance Metal Morph. Activate this card by attributing one face up special summon monster that cannot be normal summoner set. And mentions Enhance Metal Morph from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Then you can equip this card to it as an equipped card with this effect. The equipped monster gains 4 in attack and defense. Your opponent cannot target it with monster or spell effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by monster, monster and spell effects. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, XYZ Poseidon Splash. If you control an XYZ monster that uh, that has an XYZ material, declare one attribute among monsters on the field. Destroy all monsters on the field with that attribute that are not equipped with this equipped spell. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Detach one XYZ material from your monster, especially one fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from your graveyard to either field. We're having a lot of graveyard effects. Virtue Stream. Target one fish, sea serpent, aqua. Monster you control and two cards your opponent controls. Destroy them. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one face of monster in the field. Apply this effect based on its attribute. Water, the next time it would be destroyed. This turn it is not destroyed. Non water, its attribute becomes water. Okay. It's kind of like Icarus Attack, but it has a graveyard effect. Turmoil of the Sea Flames. Activate one of these effects. This card, one water monster to graveyard and target one face of monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. Destroy one fire monster in your hand. Then you can draw one card. If your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one level 7 or 8 water or fire monster in your graveyard special summon it. Okay, that, that's actually not bad. Final Bringer's Bellow. Target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. You can only activate one of these cards per turn. Okay, new 6 Samurai stuff right here. Uh, more Abyss stuff, a Sangin card, another Primordial card. Another Primordial card, Goblin Biker card, White Forest card, Azamina card. Sheesh, we got a lot of cards to look at. Um, definitely thumbs up and like and subscribe for this one. This is a long video. Apply one of these effects. If you control two or more six Samurai monsters, you can apply both in sequence. Special summon one six Samurai monster with 2,000 or less attack from your graveyard. Change one monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or less attack to face down defense position. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one six hundred monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Okay. It's not bad. Abyss Sting. Special summon one Atlantean or Mermail monster from your hand or graveyard. If you do equip this card, if the equipped monster will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. You can banish this card from the graveyard and target up to three fish, six hundred monsters in your graveyard and or banish and shuffle them to the deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. An equip card that is something from the graveyard. Sangin Furrow. Once per turn when a monster is destroyed by battle involving your fire dragon monster. You can target one of those destroyed monsters special summon it to the field in defense position. During your opponent's end phase, you can pay 1000 life points then target one Sangin Spell Trap in your graveyard. Set it but banish when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Sangin Furrow once per turn. It's not a bad card. I like the art. It's like taking bricks to the singing and summoning. Primordial. Can't even pronounce that. Reveal one. It's a quick play, by the way. Reveal one normal monster or one primordial card in your hand, except Primordial Shiller. Then target one face of card on the field. If you control no, a normal monster or a level 5 or higher primordial monster, except a token, um, you do not have to reveal a card. Negate its effects, and if you do banish it, during your main phase, if you control a primordial monster, you can set this card from your graveyard. Wow, another card. So, 
the new common thing between monsters is just like being able to set it back from your graveyard. Pay 2,000 life points and declare one normal monster's name. Apply this effect. Then if you control no monsters, you can special summon one normal monster with a declared name from your deck in defense position. Once applied, your primordial monsters and normal monsters with a declared name cannot be destroyed by battle. Until the end of your opponent's turn. If your opponent normal summons a monster, you can banish the card from your graveyard. Then target one normal monster, your one normal monster you control in your graveyard. Banish one monster on the field at lower attack. A lot of good graveyard effects. So like you don't need effect monsters, you just need graveyard effects now. A goblin biker grant imprisonment. Quick play spell. Tribute one monster, special summon one goblin monster from your deck. But it cannot attack this turn. When a monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard and detach any number of materials from your goblin XYZ monsters. All face the monster your opponent contr currently controls lose 1000 attack for each material detached until the end of this turn. Okay. The Fiend of the White Forest. Tribute one synchro monster, then target one face of card on the field and negate its effects until the end of this turn. If you tribute a White Forest synchro monster at activation, you can special summon an illusion monster from your graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a monster effect, you can set this card. You can only use the effect of uh, White Forest once per turn. Azamina, let me see, another quick play spell. During the main phase, reveal one Azamina fusion from your extra deck. Send one sinful spoilers card from your hand or field to the graveyard for every four levels it has. If those cards are set, reveal them, then special summon the revealed monster. This is treated as a fusion summon. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Azamina monster in your graveyard, special summon it. That's broken. You can only use one Azamina effect per turn and once that per once per turn. Sheesh. A lot of these cards just activate from the graveyard. Um, will we have the effect on that? So after we look at these cards, we have about 11 more cards. Sheesh, we're going crazy. Type normal spell. Reveal what Azamina fusion monster from extra decks and send simple spoil cards from your hand or field to the graveyard for every four levels it has. If those cards are set, reveal them. Then special summon the revealed monster. This is treated as a fusion summon. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Azamina monster you control or in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. If you do, add this card to your hand. Sheesh, all these cards just continuously recycle. Battle Wasp Wind. Up to twice per turn, if a Battle Wasp monster is normal summon, especially to your field, you can target one of them, add one Battle Wasp monster with attack from your deck to your hand, with lower attack from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, you can target one insect monster you control that has a level. If you use it as a single material to monster this turn, you can treat it as a tuner. So basically, this is like Black Whirlwind, but you could use it up to twice per turn. And it has another effect by letting your, by turning one of your monsters as a tuner. This card is pretty good. Armament Swarm. You cannot special summon for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, except insect monsters. Also special summon one insect monster with 1,000 less attack from your hand or deck. And if you special summon it from the deck, send one monster you control to the graveyard. In the face of insect synchro monsters, you can you control is destroyed by battle or card effect. While this card is in your graveyard, you can banish it. Add one summoning swarm from your deck to your hand. Okay. Approaching Machine. Add one monster that mentions Enhanced Metamorph or Metamorph Trap from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If you control a Metamorph Trap, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one opponent's defense position monster, change it to attack position. Okay, so we, now we gotta search it. We have like nine ways to get to Metamorph. Reincarnate Unveil Mail. Uh, it's an equip card. This card is always treated as an Armored XYZ card. An XYZ monster equipped with this card gains these effects. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn, this card battle this turn. Quick effect, you can return one equip card equipped it with, to this card to the hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, XYZ summon one monster, one water monster. Once per turn, during the end phase of this card in your graveyard, because it was sent there, you can equip this card to one XYZ monster you control. Sheesh, another graveyard effect. Surface Aqua Jet. Special summon one level four or lower fish sea serpent aqua monster from your graveyard. And if you do. You cannot special summon from your extra deck while you control it, except XYZ monsters. If your opponent controls an attack position monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one face, you summon aqua monster you control, it gains one attack until the end of this turn. Yeah, so that's the common thing of Rage and Abyss, just continuous graveyard effects. Jewel of the Maximum Moves, what is this? Two plus level nine monsters. If this card will be destroyed, you can detach one material from this card. Instead, Gains these effects based on the attributes among its materials. Fire. When this card declares an attack, 
on monsters attack higher, you can make this card's attack become doubled until the end of damage step. Water once per turn quick effect, you can target one card you control. Negate any card effect your opponent activates the turn that targets that card. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Battle Wasp, Ritual Bow. Level 6, well, Insect Tuner, so it's going to need an insect. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can treat it as a tuner. You can return one continuous spell you control to the hand. During your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one Battle Wasp monster in addition to your normal summon. Okay. You can only gain this effect once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a Synchro material, you can inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each banished Battle Wasp monster. So now we're, like, I think every deck just has a way to win in time now. Okay. That's the six samurai support right here. Then we got some new, this is like a new Mermail Atlantean card right here. Oh, a new Memento card. The Perform Age card. Fiend Beast Zoa. And then Dream Absorber. All right, guys, we're down to the final stretch. Lil Magi Mage. It's a level two Cybers. During the main phase, if this card is in your hand, quick effect, you can tribute one Cybers monster or link monster special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Lil Magi Mage once per turn. Gains attack equal to the total link ratings of all link monsters in, the gra in your graveyard. Okay, that's not bad. Um, this looks like a little uh, live twin card, right? Uh, perfect Lander. If this card is sent from your hand, if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon it in face down defense position. If a monster is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, while you control this monster that was flipped face up, you can target one of them, special summon it in face down defense position. That's interesting. Uh, what does this thing do? If this card is in your hand, you can target one water monster in your main monster zone, destroy that monster you control. If you do special summon this card to the zone it was in, then you can destroy all opponent's face of cards in this card's column. Okay, cool. Union Pilot. Once per turn, you can either target one effect monster you control, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it. If the equipped monster will be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. You, you can return this equipped card to the hand. Equip one banished Union Monster to an appropriate monster you control, as if it were equipped by that Union Monster's effect. And if you do special summon this card from your hand, you can only use this effect of Union Pilot once per turn. Hmm. ABC support? Instructor of the Six Samurai. If you control a Six Samurai monster other than Instructor of Six Samurai, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon uh, this card once per turn this way. You can only use each of the following effects of Instructor of Six Samurai once per turn. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Six Strike card from your deck to your hand. A 6 Samurai Secret Monster using this card gains this effect. Monsters your opponent control lose 500 attack. Okay. Anarchist Monk of the 6 Samurai. If you control a 6 Samurai monster other than Anarchist Monk, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon one Anarchist of the 6 Samurai once per turn this way. You can only use each of the following effects of Anarchist If this card is sent to the field to the graveyard, you can add one 6 Samurai Quick Play spell from your deck to your hand. A 6 Samurai Synchro using this as material gains this level, gains this effect. The levels of all your opponents. The levels of all monster your opponent controls is reduced by one. This 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 effect might matter, especially since everyone's going into like rank sixes or whatever. Mermail Shadow Bodyguards. This card is always treated as an Atlantean card. You can discard one card to the graveyard. The levels of all water monsters you currently control become seven until the end of this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard's activated water monsters effect, special summon level four lower Atlantean Mermail monster from your deck. What? Also, you can have special the rest of the turn from your extra. Except water monsters. That's broken. The new memento card. If this card is normal special, you can activate this effect. Level 9 or higher monsters can attack directly this turn. Okay, that's a pretty big attack. If this card is destroyed by card effect, you can target one other memento card in your graveyard or banishment add it to your hand. If a memento monster is in your hand or face up on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, special summon it. Sheesh. Yeah, that's what memento is needed. Uh, performage ball balancers um, pendulum effect during your main phase you can send one face of performage pendulum monster from your extra deck to the graveyard then you can increase this card's pendulum scale by the set monsters you can only use this performage balance once per turn monster effect if you control a performage monster you can special this card from your hand 
When an opponent's special summon monster is a crested direct attack, you can special summon this card from a graveyard. If this card has normal special summoned, you can activate one of these effects. One add add one performer page pendulum monster from your deck. To your extra deck face up. Okay, that's broken. Destroy one performer mage monster you control. Okay, that's pretty okay. Fiend Beast Zoa. If you control if your opponent controls a monster, you can normally summon this card without tributing. You can only use each of the following effects of Fiend Beast Zoa once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can special summon it in defense position. Then if you do not have enhanced metamorph in your graveyard, your opponent can special summon one monster from their hand. During your main phase, you can set one metamorph trap directly from their deck from your deck. It's not bad. Dream Absorber. If your opponent activates a monster effect in hand or graveyard or banishment, you can special summon this card from a graveyard. If it was there when it activated or hand, even if not destroyed during the end phase, you can only use the effect of Dream Absorber once per turn. Each time your opponent activates a monster effect, this card gains 1000 attack immediately after it resolves. Sheesh. Another level 2 water monster that helps Sprite. I appreciate everyone for watching. This video might have been like an hour long. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. I doubt anyone's going to watch the end, but if you do, code word is Dream Absorber. Appreciate everyone for watching. Thank you. This video was over an hour long.